Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to set up web.py, my favorite um, web framework. Uh, it's to build web applications in Python, and it's a really, really good framework that doesn't get in your way. So, if you're on a computer with a terminal, uh, the easiest way to install is just sudo easy install web.py. That will get you going. Um, if you're on something else, then... Uh, download it from git and build that way so once you have that installed uh, we'll get started so I'm in this directory well, vim index.py that's usually what I call my uh, main uh, entry point to the application and first thing we want to do is import web this will import the web.py framework and then the second thing we want to do is map URL. So URL is equals a tuple, and it takes two. Well, it takes kind of a name value pair. The first part of this is what URLs you want to map, and then the second part is what controller you want to map to. So we want to map all requests. So we just have our basic forward slash dot all. Okay, so everything's getting mapped, and we're mapping this to our index controller. Okay, so if you can have multiple controllers, so if you have your website like your website slash blog, you can route that to the blog controller. Your website slash admin, you can route that to the admin controller. So it makes it really easy to route uh, URLs, and you can use regular expressions in here to get what you want. So now that we have that, we need to make our application object. So we'll say app equals web uh, application. And then the first part that we need to pass in is our URLs mapping. And then the second part is uh, some configs. I just use globals. So that will get you started. And uh, for development and debug, you'll want to set web.config debug, uh, set that equal to true. So this will give us some debug output. So now we need to make our controller. So this is a class, and it needs to be the same name as what you put up here. So class index, same as index. And our first thing, we need two methods, one to handle gets and one to handle posts. So def get all capital letters, self, and usually have name as a second parameter, but on your base URLs, you will have to set this name to be an optional input. So I usually set it to name equals none or name equals an empty string. Okay. So once we have that, now how do we display data to the user? It's very simple, you just return. So we can return hello world, and this will get displayed, or this will be displayed to the user in their browser or wherever they're making this request from. Okay, our second one, post self name, and we can just return post in here. Okay, so that's our controller, and now pretty much standard like any other Python applications, we need to uh, tell this what to run. So we'll say if name equals main, then app dot run. Okay, so this is telling our web application here to run. Alright, so this is the full boilerplate for web.py, very simple, it gets out of your way and lets you do the coding and you don't have just a massive amount of files to set up. So we can run this as is, so python index, so we'll launch a web server on our local machine, it's at port 8080, so let me go to my browser, localhost port 8080, and we get our hello world what we had okay so now that we know this works uh, you can even see the request that came in in our terminal here and it'll tell you the IP from where it came 
Um, now that we have that, we need to display HTML pages and the such. So how we do this in web.py is using templates. It's really easy and it's a really good way to uh, work with work with this framework. So in this folder here, I have a directory named templates and inside templates we have a index.html. So if we go in here, this is just a basic HTML page that has a default title. Now we want this title to be a variable that we pass into it. So the first thing we need to do to make an HTML page a web.py template is up at the top here we need a dollar sign def and we'll say with and then this is like a method parameter list that we're passing in. So we'll just say title. So set def with title in parentheses if we want more parameters that we're passing in we can do that but we're just taking one so from our controller we'll be calling this view and we'll be passing in a title so we need to go down here and set this h2 tag not to be static text but our variable of title so we use a dollar sign then title Okay, we'll save that and quit it and go back into our uh, index.py file. So now we need to set up a renderer and the way I usually do it is create my constructor for the class here and set it up this way. Let me fix that. All right. So in our init here, in our constructor, we'll say self.render render equals web dot template dot dang it, render. Okay. And then this method takes a file path of where your templates directory is and in this example, the templates directory is just in templates slash, and then we close that off. So all the files in this templates directory. Okay. So into our get method here, let's delete that hello world and say return self dot render er self dot render, and then dot and now whatever our file name is. So um, when we look in our templates directory here, we have index.html, so we'll say self.render.index, and then it's like a method call, and this is where we pass in our variable. And we'll, our variable is the title, so we'll say web.py is cool. Okay, so if you had another HTML page in here that was login.html and you wanted to render that you'd say self.render.login and pass it whatever its uh, parameters are. So we'll close that out and we'll launch our web server again. Go back into Chrome and refresh. And here's our HTML page. It's a really simple ugly page but we have our updated content here. Okay, so one last thing, what if you want to have a little bit of logic in your view? We can go into our um, templates here Let me. and this title here we can pass it in as a list so we can have simple logic so if we want to do a for loop for all the elements in a list say we're building a table or some type of a chart say for t in title so a pretty standard um, python for but we have the dollar sign in front of it and then we'll just come down here and just change that to dollar sign t for the T and if you notice these don't have dollar signs just the beginning um, 
the, just the beginning of that line has the dollar sign. And we need to indent that. Okay, so for each T in title, do a new H2 tag and whatever the content is. So let's save that, go back into our index.py and create a list, say T equals, and I'll just fill this with some numbers as a string. Okay, so now we have that list and let's pass that to our rendered index here. Let's quit out of that Python run index and now we should see a list of h2 tags killing 1, 2, and 3. And we do. And if you notice our URLs don't change because you're not redirecting to that page, it's rendering it like any other uh, model view controller application. So that's web.py, really simple setup and fun to use. It stays out of your way and lets you code.